Charlie Cruchane here to do another truck camper mod. This time I'm going to work on something that's been nagging me for years and it has to do with electrical power and getting it into the camper. And you all know this traditional twist lock plug where you have to put this in and get it lined up just right and then put this plastic ring on to get it to work right. Well, What's happened with me over the time, over the years, I've dropped my cord by accident on a hard surface, busted this off, and I'm tired of this. And these contacts are not very good. They do get heated when you're drawing a lot of power through the camper. And as you can see, there's a little, it looks like charring there. And in here, there's charring from previous cords that have overheated and started to melt and I've had to replace it. So I'm all done with that. So today, we're going to start install the smart plug, and this is a not it's, it's about five six years old, but it's starting to come out on all the new campers, and it's a much better electrical connection. You just push it on and it latches on with these latches, and this is a kit you buy. This goes in the camper, and I bought it with the stainless steel cover. This goes on the end of your existing cord. You cut off the old twist one and you put this on. So let's get started installing this. Okay, opening the package. You have one assembly, and this is a stainless steel version I bought. Um, it was recommended that it's, 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 it's much heavier duty than the, the traditional one. And this goes on the camper, so we'll get to that in a minute. First thing we're going to do is put this on the end of the cord instead of this. And that requires instructions a couple of pieces you'll see how those work and of course some screws that come with it so let's get started assembling this okay the first thing we have to do is cut off this old plug perfect nice Cut. Now, according to this instructions, we have to measure one and three quarter inches. One and three quarter, right here. And we just take the outer jacket off. And to do that, we have to very carefully go around. There we go. Now we cut all this stuff off. There we go. Okay, the next thing we have to do is strip this wire back three quarters of an inch. They're very fine st stranded wires, so you want to be careful not to cut any of the strands off when you're doing that. We take this, which is the connector body, push the levers in, pull it apart. The trick is we have to get this big cord through this little strain relief. <laughs> the way we do that, first get this in here. Now to get this through that hole, it takes all the wires together and put this over it like so and then put it through but they suggest putting some soap dishwasher soap on it <laughs> to make it go through easier 
So that's what we're going to do. This is the messy part. There we go. There. We got that out. Now we got. There we go. This is the strain relief you see here. And there's three green, black, and white, and they're color coded as you can see. So I took my wires and I put a slight bend in them so that they all engage basically easily. First thing I guess we need to do is back off these screws to make sure everything is open. There we go. Okay, now we're ready. Green. There, they're all in nice. Now one at a time, I'll tighten these screws. There we go. Give it a tug. The trick is to slowly tighten each side. There we go. That's good. Wires are in there. So when I pull on it, it won't come out. And then get a little soap on my finger. Surprisingly, that was the hardest part. <laughs> Got it all cleaned up. <laughs> now there's three holes in there and three more screws. Okay, now just tighten them down. That's snug. And the last piece of the puzzle is the seal. As you can see, it only goes one way. I use the Allen wrench. There we go. Done. So here's the old plug, and this is what the new one's gonna look like. Nice stainless steel. And if you wanna know what it looks like, if you go around the back of my camper, in this compartment, that's the wire. <laughs> so it's a pretty straightforward, Pull right back through and rewire. Okay, the first thing we have to do, take these four screws out. Okay, so now let's get this off. There we go. Ah, there we are. Perfect. Undo the three screws. Now, this comes off. Now you do notice all three of them are black wires, but they have tape. Green, white, and of course this would be the black. So I guess I'm gonna trim them all and start with fresh wire. So that they go in nice and easy. And it says trim the wires five eighths of an inch. There we go. <laughs> Make sure the gasket lines up with these holes. Perfect. Exact same holes. I'm going to put this on the camper side. Very carefully. Do one shot at this. And the reason I stuck it on the camper side, if you tried to stick it on here, there's like some hollow spots. So it wouldn't have stuck as good, so I figured that was better. Now I can't forget it. If I wired this up, I've got to have make sure the seal's there. First one, green. This is 
ready to go on. Now they do give you a strain relief if you want it. Relief. They say just bend all your wires flat. Get my tug. Make sure they are tight. And they are. There we go. Okay, for me, whenever I'm using this kind of protection for the wires, I like to put some zip ties on there. It keeps it from opening up and coming off the wires. And I just pull it nice and tight. Perfect. Okay. Let's get this in. And get this bottom screw going. Okay, I'm just putting them in snug, not tight. I'm going to do that by hand. Now I'm going to tighten. Oh, yeah, that's nice and tight. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're all set. Now let's try the plug we did. Nice stainless steel cover. And remember, this is the 30 amp version. There is a 50 amp. So now there's these clamps as you see and there's a lock there and here. So when you do this you see these pop out and then you shut that. There's no way that can come out. That's perfect and it's no way you can misalign it. Straight in, straight out. much better than the way it was before. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe for future videos.